everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Fortress, another Bruce Willis film, but it has Chad Michael Murray in it and um, Jesse Metcalf is also in it. So, oh, and Sharon, Sharon Doherty is in it as well. So, a couple people, four people that I've known and watched shows or movies are in before, you know, so that gives you some sort of promise. But it's about a father and a son where some criminals who um, are out for revenge they force a retired officer and their son to save the day or something like that. Yeah, it really says save the day. So, I don't know. I, you know me. I'm going to watch every Bruce Willis film that I could find. Why not? Hour and 38 minutes long. Bad news. 3.3 on IMDb with an, uh, 1,215 people rated it so far. So, low expectations at this point, but I'll get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, and let you know. Is it really a 3.3 or is it better? Stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Fortress. Yeah, Fortress. Um, sorry, no check-ins. Uh, I don't know why. Who cares, right? I could I could do it all here. Um, so I told you in the beginning that it was rated as a 3.3. Um, you know, I don't think it's that bad. I'm more four or five ish you know drive that up a little bit higher now it is and, and I think because I kind of like the the plot a little bit you know I liked uh, so uh, Bruce Willis is the retired um, um, armed forces person Jesse Metcalf is his um, estranged son and uh, Jesse goes back to their uh, like where he's living Bruce Willis is living in like a, a retirement home kind of place and so he goes there and then um, it's interesting because Jesse's uh, a, he has a company and it's all about cryptocurrency and stuff like that and um, and that's where the mercenaries then attack coming in you know looking for Bruce Willis and you don't really know why you have to figure all that out and, and uh, you know you figure out along the way why they were estranged father and son and what's going on there, um, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, it is then, you know, so I, and I like what they did, I like what they did with the plot line there, you know, on, on how everybody's involved and stuff like that. So, Chad Michael Murray, he's the head of the mercenary. So, um, so much that he like wears a, a tie and everything like that. Um, there's also a woman who's like the head of security, I think, for the retirement home creates a love interest between Jesse Metcalf's character and hers. Um, and it's like, I'll give you the, the you know, some of the, the, there's some cheesy bad stuff. There's a lot of bad acting and I don't know if it's, I never could tell if it's bad acting or bad writing, you know, because uh, the, the things that they say is just awful. And sometimes I'm sure actors struggle with some of that. I don't know, but it's riddled throughout this entire movie. Either or, or both, or a combination of both, you could be the judge. Um, and uh, they, they even have this, so the, the head of security is an attractive woman, and like in the first, I don't know, whatever, when the mercenaries are coming in, and uh, you know, the first thing they do is rip off her shirt. So she spends the rest of the movie in her sports bra. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, I like they, they had to take, you know, that route for that. I mean... It's one thing if, okay, maybe for some reason the shirt comes off for a little bit, but, like, can't you just put another shirt on? Um, uh, no. So, uh, you know, stuff like that. And there's a lot of, like I said, bad lines, and, you know, the action isn't that great. There's, you know, scenes where he's like, oh, catch your gun, but you don't see him throwing it, he just has it. Um, uh, a lot of goofy stuff like that. Um, but, uh, I thought I had something else, but that that's really... Well, I think why people rated it so bad. Um, I, I don't think, it's not like a, it, the film was kind of, you know, shot well in a sense. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't, you know, like I always call them B-rated movies. It didn't look like that bad. Um, it's more about the acting or the lines that were given um, and the action scenes and, and that kind of stuff. So I'm sure there was something else. Sharon, Sharon Doherty, she's also like, so it seems like the one girl was the head of like, external security and Sharon Darty was like internal security she was a general in the army so um, you know and all, all the stuff that gets involved in 
in this. You know, like the, the double crossing and stuff like that is just the, um, uh, you know, the twists and the turns are, are really, really bad. So, <laughs> um, that's really it. I think that's all you need to know. I'm not upset that I watched it. Like I said, I'll watch any Bruce Willis movie and, and uh, they have some... Uh, oh, I finally remembered. The worst part of this entire movie was a character named Blaine. Um, I don't get it how somebody can put that character into this movie. And uh, this this movie wasn't a, you know, like a laughing stock movie. You know, sometimes they're really, really bad and you're like, uh, it wasn't like that. But this character that they put in there, he's... I don't know, he's like a soldier that comes to help for whatever reason. And uh, just what they made this guy do for this film, it's really not in the, you know, it's it's not the theme or the tone of the movie. It's somewhat serious, the tone of the movie, you know. And he's got obnoxiousness. I don't know, you have to watch it just for Blaine. Um, and I didn't realize his name until the end when they saw him standing there with the Blaine on his shirt. Um, but uh, anytime he's on the screen, it's it's bad. So <laughs> so that that I could see that driving down some scores here as well. So I'm gonna keep it up around the, the four five area. I think I think five. I don't think it's as bad as a four. It's definitely not a three. There's some good stuff to it. So but there's a lot of funny, not meant to be funny parts in it, I think, so, anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to speak any more poorly about the film, like I said, that's it, that's it, I'm going to stop right there, so hopefully that was helpful, um, and, uh, thanks for tuning, there's more Bruce Willis films out there, I gotta get to them, they're coming up, so stick around if you enjoyed this review and want to learn more about these other movies, I will be doing a review on them, thanks for tuning in, Camel's Irish Pub.